The Kremlin has once again resorted to nuclear blackmail. According to the Ukrainian army general and former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Nikolai Malamuz, the reason is the panic that has arisen among the Russian leadership due to the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region. Putin is scared. The Ukrainian armed forces have entered the territory of the Russian Federation and the operation in the Kursk region may continue and expand. The same applies to the temporarily occupied territories. Ukraine may launch strategic strikes where the enemy does not expect it at all, in particular in the south, in the direction of Crimea. And this may already become a sign of the fall of the regime, he explained on the air of the Espresso TV channel. Malomuz noted that Moscow is simply observing the events in the Kursk region. Now the enemy has no choice but to resume nuclear rhetoric. In this way, they seem to be trying to act preemptively, fearing a Ukrainian offensive in certain areas of the front, he added. According to the general, Russia has been warned that the use of nuclear weapons is not acceptable. And if Moscow does prepare for strikes with tactical nuclear weapons, this will lead to a confrontation against the entire world. Now everyone is waiting for our partners' decision on the use of their weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation. This will be another red line through which the Kremlin resorts to nuclear blackmail. Lavrov's statements about the alleged change in the concept of the defense of the Russian Federation in particular on the use of nuclear weapons are connected with this. However, if the Russian Federation prepares for strikes with tactical nuclear weapons, this will lead to a confrontation against the entire world. Western countries, China, India and other countries have warned the Russian Federation about the use of nuclear weapons. Nikolai Malomuz stated, As is known, this is not the first time Moscow has brandished nuclear weapons in the context of the war against Ukraine. The other day, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, commenting on the issue of permission to strike the Russian Federation with storm shadow missiles, said that the aggressor country has a doctrine on the use of nuclear weapons which is currently being clarified. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky responded to the statement. According to him, the Russians regularly try to intimidate the international community and threats regarding nuclear weapons are part of this intimidation program. The situation in the Kursk region is difficult, but the defense forces continue to put pressure on the enemy, said Pavel Roslak, commander of the 80th Separate Airborne Assault Galician Brigade. During the telethon, the colonel outlined the level of training of Russian forces and spoke about the best motivation for Ukrainian fighters. The situation is difficult, but under control. We still have the upper hand, we are putting pressure on the enemy and inflicting significant losses on him, he emphasized. The military man noted that the surprise effect at the beginning of the operation allowed a large number of Russians to be captured. Their reconnaissance did not work, it did not detect the concentration of Ukrainian armed forces units. Thanks to good planning, high quality execution, our reconnaissance, and fire maneuver, we were able to surround them and capture them, Roslak emphasized. The colonel also said that this was possible thanks to the good training of the Ukrainian units. We are better trained, units of the airborne assault troops. And there were conscripts, border guards, marines. And the level of training is different. The border guards and conscripts are lower, and some put up serious resistance. This is the 810th Marine Brigade of Russia, we must give them credit, he said. Roslak added that later the Russians surrendered in smaller groups. According to him, the Ukrainian fighters are strengthened by the successes they achieve in battle. This is a brigade that has been fighting for 10 years. We have a strong, close-knit team of specialists. In war, as I tell the soldiers, everything is simple, you are either a predator or prey. Galician lions are alpha predators, so everything is simple here, the colonel noted. Since the start of the Ukraine war in February 2022, Putin's inability to protect the Russian population has been shown time and again. Numerous towns in Russia, including Moscow, have been subject to drone attacks. In June 2023, Wagner Group chief Yevgeny Prigozhin led a short-lived mutiny that saw rebel troops turn from Ukraine and march through Russian towns, causing casualties. Perhaps most humiliating for Putin has been Ukraine's speedy and sustained incursion into Russia's Kursk region. 
The Ukrainian advance is the most serious challenge to Putin's narrative of the war since the invasion began. It also risks making the Russian leader look vulnerable and weak.